And we see this is a picture of, you know, Christ reaching out to them. This is wisdom. You know, the, the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. And it says that, that they chose, did not choose the fear of the Lord. That means they couldn't get that knowledge, for they hated knowledge. If you hate knowledge, you hate the Lord, because the only way to get knowledge is through the Lord. And what does he do? He laughs at their calamity. He doesn't respond to them. He doesn't even acknowledge them. And we know that it says, uh, you know, many came to him, and they professed all these things. He says, turn from me, for I never knew you. You know, he doesn't know them at all. This is a serious thing, you know, and for the sake of time, we can close out on this right here on Proverbs 1. But I would much rather deal with the scorns of the world and go out there and preach the word of God in its entirety. You know, because there's, there's times when we knock on a door and someone listens and we give them the Romans road and we give them the gospel and they pray and they call upon the name of the Lord. But there's some people that are more hard-headed. And you know what? This is the type of sermon that might stir them, that, that, that might just get that fear of the Lord. They might be teetering that line between fully rejecting Him and not. And we don't know what their last opportunity is. You know, there's so many uh, serial killers in America now. There's so many mass murders. There's so many mass shootings. And I really think the challenge is, and the problem is, that we worship death through the media, through Hollywood, through the school systems, through the indoctrination. So it's good for us to get some good, hard doctrine from the Bible that tells us two things. And that's what I want to close out. The two things I want to leave you with today is the reprobate doctrine is... As old, I mean, it's everlasting. 